guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassandra, and today I'm gonna be taking you through our Chile, uh, no, our Italy unit study. We did Chile last week. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below for you. And so what we do is we take one country per week and study it. We do our, try to do at least five meals inspired by the country's cuisine. And then we do different activities. This is for kindergarten, so my kids are three and five. And I just pick something cool about the country and we just kind of go over it for that day. So I'll show you the different activities. This time I know some of you are here for the food, some of you are here for the homeschool stuff. So I'm gonna split it up this time. I think I'll put the meals at the beginning and then I'll put a timestamp down below if you're interested in the activities for the kids. And if it is interesting and you're interested in future countries that we study, then please go ahead and subscribe down below and ring the bell to all. And then also give this a thumbs up. That's it, let's get started. So we had to walk to the store today so we could only get a little bit, which was actually really good for us, but we ended up spending 91.14 and we also got an orange juice for the way and two kinder eggs which I'm not going to show. So this is all for our Italy week. I'm using a lot of things I already have in my pantry thankfully but I'll just show you what I got here. Um, okay so we got a block of cheddar, some coconut, Alice requested dolly bars so we got some ingredients for that. We got white chocolate chips, regular chocolate chips and we also got some graham crackers that all go into that. We got some cream cheese just because I found these bagels that were on sale really cheap. So I thought, oh, the kids can have cream cheese and bagels some mornings for breakfast. We haven't had that in a while. I got some sour cream. Some, I got this mozzarella and honestly, I don't know if there's any difference, but I wanted to try sort of uh, putting it on top of the pizza and see if it's any different. It probably isn't. I probably just paid extra money for nothing, but anyway. <laughs> Um, okay, well, you know, because it's Italian. I also tried to find Parmesan and I couldn't find it. Well, I found it, but it was like rotten, so I didn't get it. I'll have to use the shaker cheese, which sucks. That would have been good for Italy week. Um, we've got triple cheddar cheese and I've got one package of 18 eggs back there. I've got garlic and butter flavored croutons, two packages of Mr. Noodles, just for convenience in case I don't want to cook one night. <laughs> I got this baguette for 50% off. Uh, two cans of tomato paste and also this can of pesto or gloss of pesto, whatever. One regular bread, one thing of cereal, <laughs> a couple of bananas, just three. I'm the only one that eats them. Three zucchini. We're going to use those for noodles one night just because we're having so many pasta dishes. I wanted to mix it up a little. Uh, we've got some lettuce. We'll be having a lot of salads on the side this week because I also got this giant romaine lettuce and this leaf live lettuce for Chris Red Leaf. He likes that. And then I got apples for the kids and Chris this week. And then hidden under here are three pretty big cucumbers. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you about this hot chocolate. I got this hot chocolate because uh, I read that in Italy they often have that for breakfast. So the kids will be excited about that. I just made this chicken marsala and I'm going to serve it over zucchini noodles. Um, I added the spinach instead of mushrooms because my family doesn't like mushrooms. But it looks really good. This is the pork one. It doesn't look exciting, but it had the whole chicken thighs. And then I just shredded them up so it was easier for the kids and I to eat. I didn't want to have to worry about getting it off the bone and stuff while it was in my bowl, but it looked much prettier with the chicken thigh on top. And then you do Parmesan on top. It's so good. Really, really good. Like, highly recommend. And just remember, all the recipes I'm showing you today are linked down below for you if you would like to try it. It's super sweet. I think I might have added a bit too much sugar, but I'm not complaining. So, we did... Kids made their own pizzas because, of course, you can't make your own pizza without Italy week. Or can't do Italy week without making your own pizza, I should say. And so, Pot Bias did this way. ham and pepperoni one. Alice's got one pepperoni on the top there. <laughs> but they're ready to eat. So, these are my pork uh, dishes. I'm not going to try to say it. <laughs> um, but they look really good. So they have to bake for three hours. So for breakfast today we're making this Italian baked eggs and sausage. It looks so good. So I'm just frying some of the sausage here. The um, Italian sausage. It's just mild because that's what we like. <laughs> and then I'm supposed to put in garlic pasta sauce. I didn't have that. I just have crushed tomatoes. So I'm going to just put in some, finally, some of the squeezed basil and garlic, I think that's fine. and uh, garlic. And then it wants ricotta cheese, so I'm going to mix sour cream and cream cheese. I know that sounds really weird. I'm allergic to ricotta cheese, and so um, hopefully these will kind of, I'm going to like dice this up so it can like kind of 
I don't know. I've substituted for that kind of thing before cream cheese and it's good. It's obviously going to change the taste, but I'm going to give it a go. And then you bake it in here with some other ingredients. I'll uh, show you when it's done. So then I just I mixed the pasta sauce with the sausage and then sprinkled or did dollops of the cream cheese and sour cream all over. Then I cracked the eggs on top and topped it with Parmesan cheese and um, pepper and garlic salt. And then while that's cooking in the oven, it goes in for at 350 for like 25 minutes. I'm gonna chop this up and then also toast these and it's served with this. So it should be an interesting breakfast. I'm excited. Hi. So what are you drinking there? Hot chocolate and toast or bagels for us today because they I read that the kids often have that in Italy hot, hot drinks and uh, toast in the morning oh what did your grown-ups have coffee tea not the grown-ups in this house <laughs> so then they have little activity sheets Tobias did such a good job on this one just like the order of what the volcano goes in it had little numbers underneath I meant to show you the the sheet at first but I forgot I just printed them off Pinterest and we just wrote the numbers down underneath to show the order and then Alice has a little color by number uh, thing here and then we're going to go outside and make uh, volcanoes. Out yeah outdoor volcanoes later and then I have one more activity for after that for what today is it? <gasps> it's a surprise let's see So we're starting Italy tomorrow. I'm gonna to get them to find it with the leapfrog pen on this leapfrog map. It's this countries of the world leapfrog and it works with the tag pens. And then I have this volcano rising book and it looks pretty good. The way the library is open now, I have to kind of guess on what <laughs> what they are if they don't have a little look inside option, but um, just because you can only pick up books, like put them on hold online, so you don't always see what you're getting. But this one actually looks pretty good. So we need to build, do a hole that's big enough for this bottle to fit in. Get your dinosaur butt. <laughs> cool. cool, eh? Do it again. <laughs> again, again. Bice, do you want to turn pouring it in now? It's going to be all gone in a minute. <laughs> do you want to turn pouring it in, buddy? Yeah. Maybe like Bob doing it. Okay. No, I want to have a lot. <laughs> We've also got a Magic School Bus Volcano episode showing how islands are made. There are just so many things I didn't get to show you guys this week, but these are two watercolor pictures my kids did. These are on Pinterest as well. I've got a Pinterest board linked down below for you for all these activity sheets that I used, but anyway, we did these. We did Friano Francesco from the Cars movie. You could also watch the Cars movie. We didn't watch the movie, but we read Francesco's book. We have like the whole car series. Thanks Yvette, if you're watching this. <laughs> and then we played Cars, like with, he also has the little Francesco car and Tobias loves playing Cars. So we played Cars for a while one day. Stuff like that. We had a folk tale from Italy called The Parrot, which I can't seem to find. We read that one day just so many things so anyway hopefully you get the point with these little glimpses and <laughs> into it stories yesterday I didn't realize they were by the same author um, so they were actually really similar but this one was about this one was like really random I don't know it was about kind of a naughty <laughs> kid who kept doing things that were like clumsy I guess 
Um, but it was cute. It was, it's, I liked this one a little more for like, because it talked about real places in Italy. Uh, and it, it like sort of, yeah, this one was based off of, I'm pretty sure a true story. The guy who invented fruit bread, fruit cake, fruit cake. Um, so that was kind of neat too. So those are the ones we did yesterday. And then today we're doing Pinocchio. This is like an old, like 1800s, like play version so it's really different from the Disney one it's kind of neat um, but we're doing that of course because Pinocchio was uh, written and published in Italy first in a newspaper and so anyway so that's why we're doing Pinocchio and then we're also talking about the different things on the flag so the faith hope and charity is what these stand for and so there's three days left in our Italy uh, week so we're just gonna do one a day we did faith today we did, yes, Alice made this flag, it's beautiful. <laughs> but we did faith today, uh, and I just found a scripture about, you know, needing works with faith, or faith is dead. Uh, we did that one. And then, same with tomorrow, find a scripture about hope, and then charity, and we'll talk about it. So, that's been fun, too. Two more I brought out for the last day. This one is so cute. Our, my kids really liked it. So, it's this, I think it's a series, so there's more than one of these, but it's about this little kid who basically, uh, well, I'm going to spoil it for you. So, <laughs> t takes a rock out of the bottom of the Leaning Tower of Pisa and then it collapses. But it's really cool because it's got all these real pictures and then, like, <laughs> Like the pig there, it's too funny. It's like the family takes a vacation and they see all these different landmarks in Italy and stuff. But the, their favorite part is the, <laughs> the kid, uh, you know, breaking the Leaning Tower pieces. So it's, it's pretty cute. It's pretty funny. I would highly recommend that one. And then I got this one too. I don't really like the show Teen Titans. I don't like... I don't know. There's some shows, you know, leave me a comment down below if you know what I'm talking about, where they, the kids kind of don't act very well after. They're just not very good, like, moral, like, the characters don't have very good morals and stuff. I don't know. I don't like it. Sorry if you like it. But anyway, I did get this because I knew they'd recognize it, and the book is not so bad, but it's uh, called Volcano Power. It's actually got very little to do with volcanoes. It's kind of more at the end. So definitely not one I would recommend, but I did pick it up just as sort of an extra one. And I actually screwed up and I got a book that actually related to another country. So we, we just did this one that day and we actually ended up having a lot of like conversation about different things in Italy. Dad was home that day and so we just went over a lot of nap work and he talked a little bit about what he knew about Italy. I always love when he does things like that. Like he just knows so much about so many things. So when he's involved, the kids really absorb a lot when he's talking and stuff like that. So it was more like a discussion kind of a day. Those scripture things too, guys, they went so well, like with the flag and the different scriptures. We had such good discussions, gospel discussions, just from those topics. So that was really, really good. So anyway, that's it for the activities section. Thank you so much for watching this today, guys. I hope you found it enjoyable. Don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below telling me what your favorite part was. I'll see you guys in the next video.